Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Something totally different today. A few weeks ago, I did a gorgeous um, black and gold coloured um, Dutch pour commission um, on two long canvases. So it's now cured. It's, it's, I think it's about three or four weeks later. I normally leave it that, that long before I varnish. The customer would like some little um, sparkly bits added, a little bit of gold leaf. Um, and I've also got some little gold um, sequiny type things, which I'm going to um, now put onto the canvas so I thought I would just film doing that to show you um, how I'm going to finish off this piece um, so let me show you what I'm going to do so these are the two canvases so they are one meter by 30 I think each um, and when they're um, hung they're going to be hung above a bed and they're going to be staggered so they will be so that it will join up so it will it will look at lump something like that um, so it was a charcoal grey base um, and in the design there's lots of gold uh, mustard colors um, and yellowy color colors loads of beautiful beautiful cells um, and the same on that one so what I'm going to do I'm going to use my Liquitex high gloss varnish I'm going to use some little bits of gold leaf which I've just spent some time breaking up and I'm going to use these if you can see these they come in just a little little pot like this they go everywhere so I think I'm going to go for the slightly larger oh you can see it down there better sparkly bits and my plan is to simply just dot a few of them around so a few of the black bits on the black a few of the gold leaf bits just on the gold very subtle very delicate um, and I'm going to apply it with varnish because the varnish is sticky and then I will then varnish straight over the top um, so I'm just excited to see how this is going to look so I've just put some varnish into um, just a lid of a little tub, so a little tiny bit of varnish. So the little black bits, I'm going, it's going to be very random, but I'm just going to put some, some little black bits in a few little clusters um, around the edge. So these things are absolutely tiny. So I think what I'm going to do, I've just got a paintbrush and I think I'm just going to literally just dip that in the end of the paintbrush um, and then just do a couple of little spots where I'm going to put them and then I think I'm going to pick them up with the paintbrush so I've got it just I don't know if you can see that on the end there and try and put it down I don't want too many of them I want them to be quite subtle but it will just add just a little bit of sparkle working quite well actually just picking them up with the with the paintbrush yep so I've got a nice little cluster there can you see that I don't know if you can so that's the little cluster I've just put down I think I might just put a couple in here so I'm just going to put the paintbrush in the in there and then just just dab it maybe a couple here and then I'm coming over to the sparkly bits. If I just touch the end of the sparkly bit, it will stick onto the paintbrush. And I can put it down. I won't, I can't see it fully at the moment because there's varnish on top. But obviously that varnish will dry clear. So I'm just going to carry on like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, I've now finished adding the black. It looks really, really pretty. I have never done this before. I've never added anything, stuck anything onto a painting. Um, it's still wet at that end, you can see, but this end is dry. And I think once it's all varnished, it's just gonna catch the light and just look really pretty. Right, I'm now gonna start with the gold leaf. So to add the gold leaf, I think I'm going to do it in exactly the same way. I'm going to put the, the varnish onto the canvas where I want it to go. But the difference is I'm going to use some tweezers, I think, to pick it up. Because as soon as you start touching gold leaf with your fingers, it just sticks to your fingers. It's so, so fiddly. So I'm just going to put a couple of little spots, I think, down here on the 
on the gold on the yeah on the goldy color and then I'm just going to pick up with the tweezers just I don't know if you can see it just the tiny tiniest bit so I only want little tiny bits in fact I'm breaking that in half and then I'm going to try and then put it on So this is really fiddly. This is much more fiddly than the black sequins. There you go. I think as a little tiny cluster, that is that's perfect. I'm quite happy with that. It just gives it's just another dimension to this painting. The customer who this is for really likes different textures of things. Um, so it just I think it just adds that in quite a subtle way. So just a little bit there. So I think I'm gonna go with just where the really solid bits of yellow are. Right, let me just give you a close-up of what I've just done. So this is what I've just added. These five little bits here, and then just a little bit up here. So it's really, really subtle. I don't want it to be obvious, but I think it's just gonna add a little bit extra. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna carry on exactly like that. So it's now the next day, um, and I'm ready to fully varnish them. So there's little bits of varnish wherever I put the sequins or the, the um, gold leaf so you've got these little shiny bits but now I'm going to varnish all of it I've waited till the next day to make sure that varnish is completely dry because when I wipe my sponge across I don't want to pick up or, or snag any of the bits that I've added on so first thing you need to do when you varnish is you have to wear an apron if it splashes on your clothes it ruins your clothes um, and I just always give it a quick dust um, because if it's been sitting around curing it will get dirty and dusty um, if it's a painting that's got silicon in, I will clean it more thoroughly. I will use um, a baby wipe to, to clean it. But this doesn't have silicon in, so I'm simply dusting it. Um, the video for creating these canvases, also I'm going to link in the description of this video, along with my full um, tutorial on how I varnish my paintings. So always wear gloves because you get glove you get varnish all over your hands. So what I do is I keep in a in a zip lock bag a car sponge which is wrapped in um, a nylon sock, pop sock. Um, the reason you put that over your sponge is so that you don't bits of the sponge don't break off and get stuck to your painting. Um, it's quite heavy at this end because I've used it lots of times before, so there's quite a lot of varnish actually already in that sponge. Um, the varnish I use is um, the Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. Um, and the way that I apply this is to do it four times with about half an hour gap in between and four very, very thin coats. So the first coat I think is always the most difficult because it doesn't, it doesn't flow as well. So this is a very long canvas. So I'm going to do um, two, two or three lines of varnish and then just swipe uh, sort of swipe all them all together. What you must do is you I varnish in one direction and then the next time I will varnish at 90 degrees to it. Then the next time I would do the opposite direction and then the opposite direction again. So I've actually I've actually varnished in four different directions and the reason I do that is it just helps the um the varnish it just helps with that you so you don't get streaks in your varnish. 
so you don't get the lines because there's you get lines from the from a brush or from the the sponge but if you um do it in all four directions they kind of cancel each other out a bit so i'm just so it's a very very thin layer of varnish and all i'm doing is just wiping it over so it's really easy when I varnished in the past, if I put too much varnish on, I found that it's bubbled and blistered and all sorts of disasters I've had. So it's literally a just the thinnest layer possible. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, because I know I've got varnish on there, I don't normally apply anymore, but I now just wipe that along the sides. So you've got a nice thin layer of varnish along the side as well. <coughs> and then just to finish, I've now got a little ridge of varnish here with some bubbles right along the edge. So with my finger, I just smooth that over, just so it just bursts the bubbles on the, on the edges. So I will get a bit varnishy on this finger, but that's okay. So it's as simple as that. I've got a sequin there. These sequins get everywhere. I don't want a sequin there. So if you see anything in your painting, now's the time to get rid of it before the varnish sticks it there forever. Um, so same with this one. I'm just going for three little drizzles. If it's a narrower painting, I'll only do one drizzle, but just because this is so long. When you first put your varnish on, don't panic if you see a line that is left where you actually put the varnish on. Because I think that the varnish, it, it soaks through a little bit. To start with, when it's wet, you see it, I, I can see three lines on my canvas where I've, I've applied the varnish, but that will disappear. I really panicked the first time I saw that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is one lovely, lovely coat of varnish. So as I said, I'm going to come back and do that three more times. I've got a sequin there. There you go, the sequin's gone. Yeah, I've got a sequin on here as well. So I have picked up just a couple of those sequins as I've gone. But the more, more varnish I put on, the more sealed they will be within the painting. So yeah, I'm gonna do that three more times in different directions, and it's done. So here are the finished paintings. I've put them on the floor because I'm really struggling to get them both in the camera without any glare from overhead lights. Um, so let me just take you in for a close up. You can't obviously see the gold leaf and the sparkly bits until you actually do get a bit closer. But there, you can see the black bits really well. And actually when you look, yeah, you can see the gold leaf as well. So in this light, yeah, they st oh, they just look really pretty. I'm so happy with, with them. The gold leaf in particular is really subtle. Um, if I just try and tilt this, you'll see the shine from the, um, the varnish and you can see that those little black circles just disappear. Where's the gold leaf? There's some gold leaf right in the centre there. So you can just see how it just, it catches the light. Um, as it, as the as it as I move them around, so when these are hanging on a wall, I think it will be beautiful because as you walk past them, some of it will catch the light, some of it won't. Um, the effects is just gorgeous. This gold leaf, I just think, is stunning. It just adds another shade of gold, or um, sort of mustardy yellowy colours to the painting. So there you go, my finished embellished diptych. <laughs> Great, thank you so much for watching this video. Please, um, if you want me to explain anything about my varnishing or, or anything at all, just ask me. Um, as I said, I'll put the varnishing link in the description and also the link for the Dutch pour um, when I created these two paintings. Great, thank you so much for watching. Bye.